If you enjoy this video, please remember to subscribe. Fantastic Voyage, made in 1966, was one of the most groundbreaking films of its time and was a science fiction story about a submarine crew who are miniaturized to microscopic size and put inside the body of a scientist the crew of just one hour to repair the damage to his brain. Apart from the miniaturization in the story, which was pure science fiction, the film also dealt with science fact and showed us how the human body actually worked thanks to the creativity and imagination of the production design and effects crew. Using practical sets and effects, actual doctors and research scientists gave medical advice during the making of the film. As it stated in the on-screen acknowledgement in the film appearing during the end credits saying, the makers of this film are indebted to the many doctors, technicians and research scientists whose knowledge and insight helped guide this production. In fact, Director Richard Fleischer was a pre-med student for a short time in college before having a career in movies. Fantastic Voyage made such a profound impact that the footage from the movie was used in medical schools towards the late 1980s to show and illustrate how the human body works. Fantastic Voyage was the original idea and story of Otto Clement and Jerome Bixby, who then sold it to 20th Century Fox, who would later announce the film as the most expensive science fiction film ever made. Saul David was hired to produce the film. Richard Fleischer, known for his movies dealing mainly in science fiction and fantasy with Walt Disney's 20, 000 Leagues Under the Sea and Soul and Green, was hired to direct Fantastic Voyage. It's a it's an interesting picture of makes you think about inner space. And because we're so wrapped up with outer space now. But in this space, you know how how interesting that is and there's just as much inner space there as outer space. And to to go through the human body and see how wonderful it is and how what a miracle the whole thing is, how it works. It was very intriguing because we know we did it rather broad strokes, but nevertheless we are hoping. I was hoping that it would interest young people and in the majesty of the human body and see really what a miracle it is. That if the whole thing works the way it works, that it works at all is fabulous. Harry Kleiner would be hired to write the screenplay and he would work with many ideas for the story. Originally the story would take place during the 19th century and was supposed to be a Jules Verne style adventure. But Kleiner abandoned the idea all except the original concept of miniaturization and would add the Cold War element to the plot, leading to the story in the film being about a scientist by the name of Yarn Benesh who knows how to keep soldiers miniaturized for a long period of time he is helped by a CIA agent named Grant to escape from behind the Iron Curtain Venice is attacked injuring his brain, causing a blood clot agent Grant ends up accompanying a team of scientists getting shrunk and put inside Benz's head for a time limit of only an hour to remove the blood clot and get out interesting to note that once the crew are miniaturized to microscopic proportions and put into Venice's head the movie is an actual real time of exactly one hour Fox Studios originally wanted to use the concepts and ideas for the film from an episode of the Japanese anime Astro Boy created by Osamu Tezuka the screenplay to Fantastic Voyage was completed in 1964 from the original story that was written in 1963 for Fantastic Voyage the cast actor Stephen Boyd who hadn't started a movie for about five years Raquel Welch in her first major role became a sex symbol after starring in the film One Million Years BC that same year in 1966 she was put under contract at Fox after being discovered at a beauty contest by producer Saw David's wife Edmund O'Brien Donald Pleasance and Arthur Kennedy Wood Co-star James Brolin made one of his first movie appearances in the film playing a small role as a technician The budget for the film was originally set for $5 million but the budget rose to $6 million when production started $3 million of the money went to sets and special effects plus $1 million on test footage The scenes where the crew was swimming outside the sub were shot on dry sound stages with the actors suspended from wires to avoid reflections and hide the metal wires that were washed in acid to roughen them This would add a major safety hazard to the film because the wires were more likely to break because of the acid to create that impression of swimming on the outside of the sub the scenes were shot at 50% more speed than normal than played back at normal speed reportedly props were borrowed from the set of the TV show Voyage to the bottom of the sea the miniature sets of Fantastic Voyage were also used to represent the interior of the alien spacecraft in an episode of Lost in Space titled The Derelict The scenes in the corridors of the medical facility were filmed at the Los Angeles Memorial Sports Arena This arena was later used for exterior shots in the film Soil and Green which was also directed by Richard Fleischer designer Harper Goff who designed the Nautilus for the Walt Disney Jules Verne adaptation of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea also designed the Proteas The design and effects were considered extremely cutting edge for their time that they received a photo spread and article in Life Magazine Life Magazine writer Richard Shackle would go on to say that the rewards would be 
planned to fall to audiences who get over the real whopper of suspended belief required peel so remote that the excellent special effects and sets could distract audiences from the story but said that the way screenwriter Kleiner and director Fleischer treated the story made it more believable and fun the special effects for Fantastic Voyage were so good that they won an Academy Award in 1967. For best visual effects the plot of Fantastic Voyage was partly borrowed for the first season episode for My Dream of Genie titled The Moving Finger in 1965 and that episode Captain Nelson works as technical consultant for a studio making a movie in which an American astronaut is shrunk to the size of a pinhead and is injected into the bloodstream of a Soviet astronaut and retrieves information which is vital to the defense of the country. The score was composed and conducted by Leonard Rosenman and was one of the first feature films to have no musical score for the opening credits which is just electronic pulses. Rosenman deliberately wrote no music for the first part of the movie not until our protagonists actually enter the human body for his release Fantastic Voyage needed to earn about 9.4 million to break even but sadly the film only made almost 8.9 million so the film made a loss but the film received mainly positive reviews with one critic saying the lavish production boasting some brilliant special effects and superior creative efforts is an entertaining enlightening excursion through in a space the New York Times wrote yes sir for straight science fiction this is quite a film ban and books acquired the rights of fantastic voyage to do a novelization and approached Isaac Asimov to write the novelization and offered him 5,000 without royalties Asimov remarked I turned down the proposal out of hand hack work I said beneath my dignity banned and books still persisted and Asimov agreed to read the screenplay and the novel's introduction of states that he was reluctant to write the book because he believed that the miniaturization of matter was physically impossible but decided it was still good storytelling which would still make for intelligent reading the novelization was released six months before the release of the film many people even believed that the film was based on Asimov spoke Asimov even wrote a follow-up to the novelization in 1987 with Fantastic Voyage to Destination Brain This was written in an attempt to develop and present his own story apart from the 1966 screenplay This novel was not a sequel to the original book but was a separate story that took place in Russia with a different set of characters Fantastic Voyage Microcosm was the third interpretation and was written by Kevin J. Anderson and published in 2001 A comic book adaptation of the film was released by Gold Key Comics in 1967 Fantastic Voyage even inspired an animated television television series of the same name the series was released on ABC by Filmation two years after the film's release though there were major differences in the series with a different team of experts on their missions in a sub called Voyager a now cancelled ride at Disney's Epcot Center called Body Wars was largely inspired by the movie even though it wasn't a Disney film since 1984 there have been many discussions and plans for a sequel or remake Isaac Asimov was even approached to bring his novel Fantastic Voyage to to the big screen in 1987 Joe Dante directed at Inner Space a comedy fantasy that paid homage to Fantastic Voyage director James Cameron has been interested in directing a remix since 1997 but would decide to put all his efforts into his Avatar project James Cameron even wrote a screenplay and has been open to an idea of producing a feature based on his own screenplay Fantastic Voyage was a breakthrough in effects and production design and the film is a lot of fun to watch it has made quite an impact in science fiction since its release Influencing a number of filmmakers my name's Jonathan thanks for watching.